When the cashier read off the total for $87.20, I was like, what? I have not spent under $100 in so long, but I got a bunch of new stuff. Um, I think there's three or four new items in here, so we will sample and review those. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if this is the first time watching one of my videos. Welcome, I'm Natasha with Natasha's List, and this is one of my many Trader Joe's hauls, so we're gonna jump right on in, and I'm gonna show you what I got. This is gonna be a good one because I am so hungry, like peak hungry right now. So we're gonna jump in. Um, what chips? I think I'm gonna open the patio potato chips. No bad haul ever started with patio potato chips. And I can't believe my store not still has these. I also feel like I'm gonna blink and pumpkin stuff is gonna be out. And I'm just not ready for pumpkin yet, anything. Mm. So good. I got Simon some eggs. Did they all make it? Yes, they all made it. I did have to go through, like always check your eggs. Don't just assume they're gonna be fine because I had to go through like three boxes to actually find a complete pack of six that were not cracked. I don't even know where to start. Okay, you guys, just salmon skin baked dog treats. If you have a dog at your house, these are so good for them because literally it's just salmon skin and it's packed with omegas. What does it have on the back? It's got omega-3, omega-6 fatty acids. There's some protein, fat, fiber. Like, get your pups a treat that's good for them. Boo! You wanna try this? Come here. Boo's gonna try this. He loves the salmon skins. They almost look like something humans can eat, but these are for pets. These are for dogs. Come here, boo-boo. Come here. Oh, he's so ready. Come here. Here he is, okay. Salmon skins, oh. See, now he's got his omegas. Patch full of omegas. He's so excited. He loves these. It's like the third or fourth time I've bought these and just loves them. Absolutely loves them. Pot Pie will get one too, but she always runs away when I set up the cameras. She just like doesn't like the size of the things or how big everything is. Um, cauliflower crisp snacks. The reason I bought this is because there's something else in here that I need to put on a cracker to sample it. We'll just wait till I get it. Chicken breakfast sausage patties. These are delicious. Like if you're like me and you like to make breakfast sandwiches on the weekends, like these things are so freaking yummy. Screenshot it if you're watching this because they're just, they're delicious. So, so good. My breakfast sandwich is, I use Just Egg because I have a, an egg allergy, eggs make me really tired. So I get the Just Eggs, they're like pre-made, like little omelet things. And then I put the chicken and then some bacon a little bit of mayo, like veganese mayo, and then I use um, a little bit of bomba sauce. So good, so good. I picked up two um, tuna, these are the Wild Skipjack tuna packets. I love these because they're just the right size. A can of tuna for me is just way too much tuna. And these have 90 calories, 22 grams of protein. Um, with anything, this is, it says every tuna mercury tested safe catch. Um, just. Tuna does have high mercury, so if you are eating a lot of tuna, kind of keep that in mind because you don't want mercury building up in your system. You do want chips though. Um, super soft bath tissue. I realized today we're getting low on toilet paper, so I put some of those up. It always goes from like, it's like, it's like laundry. Like toilet paper is like laundry. It just never ends. Like you always have to get more toilet paper. You just always have more laundry. Mmm. Mm. I don't know, the sun's not out really in West LA today. It's got this like weird overcast thing. So put me in the mood for soup. Two of my favorite soups at Trader Joe's are both organic, which I love. Um, and it's an organic lentil vegetable soup and then the organic split pea soup. And I'm split on which soup I'm gonna have for lunch today. That was my pun. Um, but the, the lentil vegetable soup's got 21 grams of protein for 16 grams of protein in the split pea soup. Um, sodium is 1200 milligrams in each one. So some people are like, that's way too much sodium. I love sodium. So for me, I'm like, okay, bring it on. Um, almond beverage, you would laugh. So this week, I we like ran out because like the way things got structured, I didn't buy one last week. And so then we ran out this week. And remember, I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, but like you can put water and mix almond butter and it'll make like almond milk. 
And so I had to do that a lot this week. It's not as good as like whatever this is, even though there's like way more almonds probably in that concoction I make with just water and almond butter. Um, but it actually does kind of make, it does make like a weird mixing. You just literally put like a spoonful of almond butter with some water and blend it up. And it, it's like almond milk. Um, but it does work. It does, it does a good job. And I use that this week as a hack. It wouldn't be my go-to. Like I'm not going to make almond beverage for myself like that every week. But if you are in a pinch and you've got almond butter at home and you ran out of almond milk or oat milk, whatever, just blend it up with some water. Simon requested organic raisin bran cereal. So his request has been answered. He didn't request these, but I know he wants them because he keeps eating the entire bag every week. Which the thing is, we know that these are seasonal, so they're gonna go away. So while, while they're here, I'm gonna buy them for him. Some items I picked up, rice cauliflower. I'm, I've been on a big rice cauliflower kick. It's so easy to cook. A Little bit of olive oil in a pan with however much cauliflower rice you want. And then cook it till it kind of gets a little transparent then add in some chopped cilantro, some lime juice, a little zest of the lime, some salt, and my goodness, you're gonna be like, why am I not eating this every day? It's so good. I love these little sweet mini peppers. Um, I get the organic ones and I still wash them off, but I, I cut them like finely and I put them in salads. I just, they're really good. They're also good if you have like host people over, you can cut the tops off and cut them into little strips and they make really good like dippers. Definitely like that. Okay, I'm excited to try these. This is called Jacob Farm Organic Dry Farmed Early Girl Tomatoes. Have you ever heard of that? Dry Farmed Early Girl Tomatoes. I wanna try one, bear with me. I have been craving tomatoes lately. I don't know, I think it's cause it's August and August to me is like tomato season. I want one that's kind of firm. But I'm like craving like a big beefsteak tomato with like salt and pepper on it and a little bit of olive oil, like a tomato sandwich. Like, it's just a craving I'm having and I really, really want it. So I'm just gonna rinse this little tomato off. Come back up again, I'll cut it. Um, shoot, did I put my other cutting board upstairs? I just got a cutting board. You guys have to see it, it's so cute. Um, it was in a box, we were going through some stuff, looking for something for my sister. And so we were trying to find this cutting board, not this cutting board, we were trying to find a picture, but I found this cutting board that's so cute. And I think it was my grandpa's. It's the cutest thing and I don't know where it is. I think it's upstairs in the bathroom, which it definitely shouldn't be upstairs in the bathroom, but I took it up there last night. So I'm just gonna cut this little tomato. What stood out to me about these tomatoes was just how red they were. Like they're just really red and they just looked interesting. Hold on, I wanna put a little, little salt on it. Wasn't lying when I said I love sodium. Here we go. A little bit of salt. Mmm. That is a delicious tomato, my goodness. Dry farmed early girl. I don't know what any of it means. Any of it. Wow. That was when you're craving a tomato. This is literally hitting the spot for me. Mm. Not exciting because it's not some like snack. But if you like tomatoes or maybe you're just like me and like suddenly you want tomatoes, I would recommend these. Mm. So good. Wow. Yummy. Picked up a couple bars. Oh, and then we've got zucchini. I use them in everything and the dogs love zucchini too. Like they're the, they're so healthy. They get like their salmon skin dog treats packed with omegas and they get zucchini. I also give them greenies too. This is brand new from Trader Joe's. These are the freeze dried fig slices. Nothing here but slices of sweet figs which have been freeze dried. A crispy, crunchy and sweet snack or treat. Let's, let's, let's give it a try. This is one of those things where the bag is like, have, like very empty. It's like, Oh, it even says fill line, fill line. They, that's exactly where they filled it to. Okay, so, oh my gosh. One bag of these is 35 grams of sugar. So I'm anticipating this is going to be sweet. Mmm. That was nature's candy. If nature had a candy, 
that is it. This would be really good crumbled on top of the ice cream, or you could even crumble it on top of a yogurt with some granola. Mmm. There's really not that much in here, but wow. That is, is very, very, very good. Ooh. Um, I guess I'll grab this out because we're on the, these are not freeze dried. This is the new dried Atulfo mango slices. I bought it last week for the first time. Oh my gosh. These are better than the regular just mango. The Atulfo mangoes, they're also called, I think, champagne mangoes. They're like the yellow ones. Do you guys remember last year when I was on that really big mango cutting kick? And then I was like cutting these mangoes all the time. That was the Atulfo mangoes. They're, they're delicious, they're seasonal, and now they make them dried. But like, a mango, a dried, what is this not dried, what is it called? Okay, yeah, dried. I was thinking freeze dried. Freeze dried is crunchy, dried is just like, it's almost like, it's like the texture of like a fruit roll up, but it's just a mango. And these are delicious, but also 11 grams of sugar in six pieces, which was better than 35 grams of sugar in a bag, but this is good too. You also get fiber, there's three grams of fiber. So you're getting like the fruit, you're just not getting the water content because it's been dried. Cilantro, for the cilantro lime rice. Mmm. I picked up some celery juice because I know it's, de it's good for detoxing. And I was visiting my family this weekend and one thing my family knows how to do is have a very good time. <laughs> So now I feel like I am detoxing. I'm like, I just need to drink a lot of hydration. A lot of hydration. Celery juice is great for um, detoxing. Oh. You can definitely make celery juice at home. But I, I was in a juicing phase years ago. It's just so much mess. It's a lot of work. So I love the convenience of celery that's already been juiced for me. I picked up two nectarines. They just look good and they're organic. They're a bit firm. They also had the boxes of nectarines. You can now go buy like the entire box. Um, and it looks like they each have their own individual like cubby. So it looks like the nectarines are pretty well protected. You're not gonna get a bruised one. I think they're $7.99 for a box of nectarines. I just felt like that was too many nectarines for me. A whole box, it'd give me anxiety. And then what do I put on the counter? I don't know. Oh, I should have started with these. These are not brand new. Well, they are newish, but Simon loves these. These are the Hold the Cone. Sorry, Hold the Dairy Mini Non-Dairy Frozen Dessert Salted Caramel. He loves them and they, has been confirmed, these do have the little chocolate down in, in the base of the cone. So that's, that's like, why would it not be in, like you need to make sure that's in there. Um, these look really fun, they're brand new. Pretzel breadsticks, twisty, rustic, pretzel-like bread, breadsticks. Um, I'm not gonna eat one because my body would hate me, but they're very, they're firm. They'd be really cute on like a cheese board. A lot of different ways you could use these. I will have Simon give you his review on them, but like, you know, they're gonna be good. A pretzel breadstick, like delicious. Although my favorite pretzels are from Costco. Like back in the day when I didn't know I had a gluten allergy and everything made me go to sleep and have stomach cramps and skin rashes. Um, We'd go to Costco and my mom would get me one of the massive Costco pretzels and I would like take apart the, the outside layer and then eat the inside of the pretzel last. Seemed like the right thing to do. Mmm. I'm excited to try this. Unexpected cheddar cheese bread with hatch chili. This is brand new. And I was talking to crew member Shad. He tells me he puts this in his eggs. So like if you're making scrambled eggs, you can scramble the eggs and then put some of this in it. He says this is really good. Um, and his girlfriend put it on her steak the other night. He said that was awesome. Oh, let's see if I can get it. A cheese bread just sounds like, it's just so good. Like it's too good to be true. Like, oh, you're gonna take my favorite cheeses and make them into a spread? It just sounds like I wanna eat it with a spoon. Mm. Wow, if you've ever had the unexpected cheddar, you know it's delicious. And then this, they're just like, they're just breaking all the rules. They're making it so good. What's in it? Cheddar cheese, 
let's just see, cheese cultures, salt, microbial enzyme, water, reduced lactose whey, hatched chili, so hatched chili peppers, and there's butter, whey, bell pepper, sea salt, guar gum, cayenne pepper, contains milk. Probably like, I with the other unexpected cheddar spread, which is just plain, people have been making um, macaroni and cheese with it, which I heard is really, really good. That does sound like, that does sound delicious. Like turning this into a macaroni and cheese, my goodness. I'm just gonna stand here and eat this. This was what I was most excited to try today, guys, was this. And I was excited to even see it. Mm. We've got, oh dear, garbanzo beans and black beans. And then I picked up salmon, salmon, I picked up salmon. I mean Simon, he asked for ham. His list today was very small and he said, I want eggs. And he has eight eggs in the fridge, but that's a different story. And then he said he wanted a ham. So I said, you want eggs and ham? <sighs> okay, you got it. I threw in a bag of chips also. Um, okay, this was a smaller haul, only $87 and I'm not mad about it because it's like, I've got some stuff in the fridge from last week because we were out of town a couple of days this past week. But so good, those tomatoes are shockingly good. If you like tomatoes, check out the dried farmed early girl tomatoes, those are yummy. This cheese spread's yummy if you can have cheese and you like to spread it, <laughs> that's good. Um, yeah, and then the breadsticks, I wish I could eat those because I would, if I could, I would dip this breadstick in that cheese. Like I feel like you can't go wrong with that. Um, and these are also brand new too. So how many brand new items? We got one, two, Three, I think the tomatoes are new, four. And then the salmon skin, make sure you get those for your doggies. Uh, I don't know if like, I would assume cats could eat this, but it's just, they're big pieces, so don't quote me on that. But good for your dogs. Getting your dogs a treat that has omegas in it, so, so important for their little heart health and their little cuteness health. Boo's looking at me right now like he wants another one. Um, but that was it, $87. Thank you guys for watching this. Let me know what you got this week, any of your favorite items right now, or. If there's like something like this and you recommend a way for me to use it, please comment and let me know um, because I know I read the comments, but everyone else reads the comments too. And so if you give a tip to me, you can help give a tip to everyone. We can all just help each other out with ideas on how to eat all the delicious food from Trader Joe's. But I will see you guys next week. Bye.